What I'm going to do now is show you box 16. Now, this is a fantastic box. It makes like a little handbag. You can fill it with all sorts of things. Great for Easter, for Christmas. You can use any card that you want, so you can create any kind of effects that you want. Now, this is download, but you don't just get one template in this download. You get six sizes, and you've also got the ability to uh, change the sizes if you want in any way that you want. So this one fits onto an A4 size there. Or it also fits onto the American size there, the letter size too. Um, you've got everything you need. Now there's three ways of using these templates. You can print them onto whatever you want. You can print them straight onto the card that you're going to be using. You can print them out and make a, a, a 3D uh, template with the main section or the outside. I think it's better if I show you. Right, these are the sizes you're going to get in this set. You're getting that large one there. And you're getting all these different sizes going down and going down. So what's well, the great thing about this then, you're getting all these different sizes for doing different size boxes. It'd be fantastic for putting like little individual chocolates in. What about wedding favours, uh, Christmas things, little things to hang on a tree, put together boxes, fill them with chocolates, all sorts of things. Depends on what you're doing. But as I said, you've got six sizes here. You've got a little nest of little bags going inside one another. There's all sorts of ways you can use these. Now, I've got a piece of card here. Now, if you can imagine that I have printed on, I've, I've gone into my computer and I've printed onto the back of the card the box. So you get all the designs in there. You can do that with any of the sizes you want. Now imagine I've not cut this out. And what you do is basically, you can see the lines on this design. Now you can either use, make, if you want to make your own template, you can cut that out and you've got the lines which you can draw around, etc., etc. Or you've got the main design here that you can also put some, use as a template. And if you cut it out carefully, you put that over the top, you use all these lines for giving you where the creases are, and you've got the inside here, you can go around with a pencil to create another, another template. So you've got three ways of using these templates. So here's the one that I've actually creased. All you do is you put your pen and your, you put your ruler across there, and wherever there's a dotted line, you just go across and score and go across and score. Now, I find it easier if you score before you cut it out, and it's not going to be wobbling all over the place, etc. So just do all your score lines first, and then either using a scalpel or scissors. I prefer to use a scalpel and a cutting knife. Just go through it using your knife and cut it out. If you use a, a scalpel, you get more accurate, accurately cut out, and then you've got that you can use as a template as well in the future. So here you've got your box now, and you can see all you've got to do, there's where the crease lines are, all you've got to do is fold those over, ready to stick together. And then this actually just, it's so simple to do, I've put some double-sided tape on the back here, ready? Let's just peel that off. If you peel that over and just fold it like that, ready to pull apart once you've done it. And let's do the other side too. You just peel that off and fold it over. So now, so simple to do, you just fold those flaps in there like that. You fold those flaps in there over the top like that. This then comes up, and if you concentrate on one side first, just getting it accurate, just getting those sides accurate there like that, then peel off your tape and that just sticks down. So you've got your handbag or your box or your basket, whichever you want to call it, already stuck down. That gives you more stability to actually stick the other side. So concentrate on getting it accurate so it's perfect there on the end. And then next you've got to do is just fold in the other side like that. And again, just get it accurate here at the top like so. Pull off your tape at the back, stick that down, and you have got the perfect box. Isn't that brilliant? So you could fill that up with a bit of tissue. You've got the flaps inside there. They can go down or any way you want to do it. So that's beautifully decorated. And uh, you can put some ribbons, put a little bit of chocolates, anything you want, really. And that is the box that you can make.